Hey guys, uh, welcome to the another video on uh, AWS uh, EC2. Um, so today, in today's demo, we will be um, creating a um, Elastic File System in EFS. Uh, probably you might have uh, already uh, known about the EFS, which is nothing but a network file storage uh, system. For example, let's say you have um, two or more EC2 instances, and you wanna you, you want to have some common network uh, file system. So EFS is, is your choice. And last, EFS stands for Elastic File System. So in today's video, uh, what I'm going to do um, is, um, so if you scroll down a bit, um, so this is basically uh, shows how, how EFS works. So uh, in a nutshell, you can see um, uh, the, the diagram here where you have two EC2 instances, EC2 instance um, in uh, US West 2A, uh, availability zone and US West 2C AZ. So you have two availability zones um, and you have uh, uh, EFS, which is connected together. So that, you know, uh, when you create a file from EC2, um, uh, from uh, from uh, from this AZ, you create a file inside this file system and you can read uh, that file uh, from your, your first EC2 instance. All right. Um, so, uh, we will be trying. We'll try and create the EFS Elastic File System and then mount uh, to our EC2 instances. Okay. So, so to begin, we will be creating two EC2 instances. Okay. So we should be um, providing a security group uh, with NFS access. So let's see how we create. Uh, let's see how we give the permission there for the security group. Okay, let's scroll down a bit. Let's see if there is something else that we need to discuss. Um, so you mount the target, uh, one zone storage classes, blah, blah, blah. So it'll just start connect. Um, okay, so go back, uh, go to this um, mounting EFS file system. I've, I have these links uh, opened already. Um, so what we will be doing is we will be using Amazon EFS utils package. Okay, this is a mount helper. So we'll be using in our EC2 instances and we will mount the EFS um, into our EC2 uh, um, instance. All right, um, so I think uh, you can you can go through uh, what is EFS and you know, um, and how it works. I, I will give this link. I will um, uh, put this link in the description box below. Just make sure that uh, you know you understand this pretty well, um, so that you know uh, my demo will be will completely make sense to you guys. Okay. Without further ado, um, let's go ahead and start launching the EC2 instances. So I'm already logged in into my console. All right. So I'm going to my EC2 instance. All right. So launch an instance. Um, I'm going to launch an instance, which um, by the name my EC2. Yeah, I'll leave this Linux uh, Linux um, selected by default. Uh, T2 micro, what about the key? Um, so I'm gonna create a key. Okay, so we will be creating a uh, key pair. Um, okay, so what do we give a name? Um, my first key. Um, you can give any name that you want of a key pair. Um, this is for... Um, I thought this might be easy. Uh, create a key pair. Uh, so you have created a key pair. Um, make sure it is selected um, and click on enable edit. Um, make sure you have um, create security group and then you're gonna give a name for your security group. Uh, security group. Um, Make sure you copy this and put it here. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do now is add another security group rule two and select NFS from here, which is a network files um, protocol and make sure you give access to anywhere for now. Okay. For just for the demo purpose. Yeah. And then uh, keep the rest as defaults. Okay, so you don't need to uh, update anything over here. Um, uh, make sure you launch two instances, okay? Make sure you launch two instances. Um, and then, okay, let me check this again, my C2. Okay, looks good, click on launch instance. So you should now be able to create two EC2 instances, okay? Let's rename these um, um, names, okay? So make sure it is, a 
okay and this is let's say this is B okay it is much better the naming is much better okay so just give it a couple of minutes uh, you should see these running okay um, there's another one just click refresh all right um, so now that you have created your EC2 instances um, what I'm going to do now is uh, leave this window as is go to EFS okay I just um, I hold on to my uh, command button and click on this EFS so that it opens in a new window like this um, all right so now click on create file system so I'm gonna um, give you the name and EFS demo standard okay uh, and you probably click on customize we will be customizing this uh, standardize uh, and just uncheck this automated backups so you don't need this automatic um, backups for now right um and then uh, uh leave all these options as default burst thing select the performance setting should be bursting uh mode throughput mode uh leave these tags okay um and click on next all right now um so as you can see um the um the availability zones here is, uh, has a default security groups. And now, because we have created our security groups, uh, NFS, uh, including uh, access to the NFS, so we should be um, providing, remove these defaults, okay, and provide the security group that we have created in the, um, uh, I think it was EFS set security group, uh, select the security group uh, that you have created, uh, delete these defaults, uh, you don't need these defaults. Um, okay, now I'm gonna select my EFS security group like so and select the efs security group and select the efs all right and select the efs again all right um okay that looks good and i'm going to click on next um i don't think you need to edit anything in the policy editor so i think um uh, this is just an optional uh, thing um so what you can do is simply go ahead and click on next Okay, make sure uh, everything is correct. Posting more EFS demo. Um, and then this is my security group. Make sure everything is same. Okay, file system policy, ignore that and just create it. Okay, so there you go. Uh, you have now created a EFS um, file system. Uh, it is still creating. Okay, now it's created. Okay, just click on this. Um, so now you should be able to see. Um, and attach your EFS and to your to your uh, EC2 instances uh, by using this command. So this is your bound helper. Okay. Um, so we'll, we will get to it. Okay. Um, so before that, what we're going to do is we will be um, we will SSH into our EC2 uh, instances. Okay. And then um, uh, where's my EC2? Yeah. Uh, so we will SSH into our EC uh, my EC2A. And then let's create, uh, let's use Amazon EFS utils package uh, as I've discussed with you. Okay, we will use this Amazon EFS utils package to mount our EFS, uh, which is newly created. So go back to my EC2 instance. So the, the quick way that I um, use uh, to connect uh, SSH is go to my, uh, go to select the EC2 instance that you wanted to connect, click on connect and go to SSH client. And you should see uh, how we give the permission, okay. Um, this is a step three, uh, and then um, uh, you should be able to run this command uh, in order to connect to your SSH instance. Okay. Um, open my terminal. Okay. Um, I think it is already connected. Okay. Let me. I think the font is better. Yeah. Um, okay, let me put this aside. Let me put this aside. Hope this is much clear. Yeah. Um, CD, I think I've downloaded to my downloads. Yeah, um, Chamon 400, my EFS key. Okay, make sure you give the permission and then simply copy this SSH and try to run. I'm using Mac. Probably you'll need to use Putty for your uh, Windows if you're trying to use Putty. Uh, and then, uh, you know, um, log into your EFS uh, EC2 instance. Okay, uh, this is a very easy way for me uh, because I'm using Mac. All right, hit enter uh, and just type yes. 
All right, so now that you have uh, successfully connected to your EC2, my EC2A instance, okay? Um, so if you go back, um, okay, so let's uh, let's switch uh, to a root user, okay? Um, and then let's make sure that we update uh, all the packages in my Linux system. Uh, M minus Y update. Let's run the update for now. Let's wait for a second. It is trying to install all the latest information that um, my EC2A instance needs. Okay, now that it is completed, I'm gonna uh, install a package. As I said, we'll be installing a package called Amazon EFS Utils. Okay, um, install minus Y Amazon EFS Utils. Hit enter. Yes, um, so you were successfully um, installed uh, the Amazon EFS Utils package. And now let's uh, clear this out. Okay, make sure you have enough room. Um, MKDIR EFS. Um, so I've just created a directory called MK um, called EFS, okay, uh, and then um, we have to mount the file system. Um, we have to mount this file system in this directory. So to do so, uh, navigate to navigate to the AWS uh, console and click on the create file system, okay, um, and then on the top right corner you should be able to see this attach, okay. Um, just maximize this window again, uh, attach, and then copy the command over here, okay and close this and i'm gonna push this uh, to my left side again all right um and and paste this okay um, so we have the efs directory we will mount the um, file system into our efs uh, into our ec2 um and then we hit enter it takes a second to mount the file system uh, hopefully it mounted uh, the EFS file system. So let's uh, quickly check um, if the file system is mounted or not. Um, so for this reason, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a command called the F minus H, uh, which will uh, uh, tell me if, uh, see this is my network file system and you can see um, this is uh, being attached, okay? Um, all right, so I'm going to create a, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a directory called AWS. Okay, let's say AWS. Now, just do an LS. You should see two directories here. One is AWS and another one is uh, EFS. Okay, now what we're going to do is we will mount the file system uh, to my ec2 instance to my ec2 instance uh, the second ec2 instance basically so it go back to ec2 okay um oh, probably i think go back to efs go back to another window which i've already opened go to instances scroll down a bit probably the view is not better okay um select the ec2 instance b go to connect as a such client. So I'm using the same uh, key. So forget about um, giving this permission. So ignore this step three and copy the uh, command that you have uh, in your console. Um, so you need to exit from here, uh, exit. Okay, now you are completely out of this EC to A uh, instance. Now let's connect to EC2 instance, yeah? Uh, hit enter, S. And then there you go. So you are now uh, connected to your second EC2 instance. Um, let's um, connect to a root account. Okay, let's switch to the root account, root user. And uh, similarly, in the previous um, instance, uh, as you have updated your packages in your Linux instance, you will also update your um, in the EC2 instance, in the second EC2 instance, okay? Um, I hope I'm not confusing you guys. Uh, I hope this is uh, clear, All right? Um, so what I'm gonna do again, I'm gonna install uh, the same Amazon EFS utils, okay, uh, into my second instance. So um, clear this out to make some room, and y u m minus y install an Amazon EFS utils. Just hit enter. It takes a second. 
All right, uh, and then create a directory um, like what we did in the previous instance and uh, go back to your EFS, attach, click on attach on your on your homepage, wherever you are, like in the file systems, click on EFS demo and click on attach. Copy the um, command, copy the uh, EFS mount helper, okay? And go back to your um, terminal and try and run this command again. Okay, um, this is trying to mount the EFS file system onto your EC, uh, EC2 second instance. Now, now that uh, uh, we are done uh, with this mounting, okay, it did not give any error, so that means it uh, successfully mounted. So now I'll run df -h again just to see if uh, it is mounted. Yeah, sure it is. And then uh, what I'm going to do is. Um, now we now that we need to test our file system, um, switch to the root. Uh, I think you're already in the root user. Okay. Um, what are the directories we have now? EFS. Okay. Now let's cd into EFS. Okay. Unless there is no file, make sure there is nothing. Uh, I'm going to create a file called uh, touch index.html or, or simply say test.html file. Okay. And then um, create another one test dot txt file uh, you can create any number of files right so yeah um so what are we going to do we will be checking um what are the files that we have in this efs directory so uh sure we have uh yes test.html test.txt in the uh in the efs directory okay um and then what we're going to do is um um, what are we doing now? Uh, now let's go to the other server, okay? Um, in the second, uh, the, in the first, now we are in the second EC2 instance, right? Now let's exit from the second EC2 instance. Now just log out and go to the uh, first EC2 instance, okay? So go back to the EC2 instance, um, connect to the A instance, okay, connect. Uh, simply copy this example. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna simply run SSH I. Okay. Um, see now you're connected. Okay. Now, oops. Uh, now you have AWS EFS. Uh, I think let's cd into EFS. Okay. Do ls. Uh, you remember we have created two files in the um, my EC2 instance two, and we have mount uh, um, created in the EFS uh, file system. Now we are connected to EC2 instance A, and now that uh, when you cd into EFS, you can see the files which are created uh, from the EC2 instance in the EC2 from the EC2 instance A. All right. Um, hope this gives some idea, guys. Um, I think uh, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, create EC2 instances, go to EFS, uh, mount the EFS onto your uh, files uh, onto your EC2 instance. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Make sure uh, to give it, uh, give this video a like, uh, share, subscribe, and I will be creating more and more videos uh, just to make sure uh, you understand uh, these uh, hands-on demos. Um, so thank you so much, um, and uh, see you in the next video.